Good morning children. Today we shall learn about variables. Aman bought a pen and paid by giving a 10 rupee note. He got back 3 rupees. So we can say the pen's cost plus 3 rupees is equal to 10 rupees. Correct? Same way there were 50 candies in a bowl. Few children took some candies and only 18 candies were left. So, 50 minus candies taken away is equal to 18. In these two cases, the cost of the pen, the numbers of candies taken away are unknown quantities that we need to find. You know, we can express such unknown quantities using the letter of English alphabets too. Say, X represents the cost of the pen. So, the cost of the pen, which is X plus 3, is equal to 10. Same way, let's use the letter X to denote the number of candies taken away. So, 50 minus X is equal to 18. Here in these two cases, we used X to denote the unknown numbers. So when we use letters to denote numbers, that letters are called literal numbers. So here we have X which is a literal number. The unknown X has a numeric value like the cost of the pen is rupees 7 as 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. And in the second case, how many candies were taken away? 32 candies were taken away as 50 minus 32 is equal to 18. So we see the value of X may vary and it doesn't have a fixed value. Generally, the literals whose value may vary are referred to as variables. So, variables can take any numeric value. Let us take another case. A boy gives three candies to each of his friends on his birthday. Two years ago, he had 17 friends and he gave away 17 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 51 candies on his birthday. Assuming he gives 3 candies to each of his friends. Previous year he had 19 friends which means he gave away 19 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 57 candies. And this year he has 14 friends. How many candies does he need? Well, it will be 14 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 42 candies. So, the number of candies he needs every year on his birthday may change as the number of his friends may change. But, as he always wants to give only 3 candies to each one of them, we can say the number of candies he needs every year is equal to 3 times the number of his friends. That is 3 into number of friends. Let us denote the number of friends by a literal number n. The number of friends may change. So the value of n may also change. Hence n is a variable. Its value is not fixed. It can take any value, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 12, etc. And here we wrote the rule for the number of candies required using the variable n. So we see the word variable means something that can vary, that is change. The value of variable is not fixed. It can take different values. Sometimes we find some quantities which may have different values. That is 
their value is not fixed. For example, as we saw in the story, Aman first thought about two tuitions to support his coaching classes. As per tuition, he would get rupees three hundred and fifty. So for two tuitions, he would get three fifty multiplied by two rupees. Two times three hundred and fifty, and if he had managed to get four tuitions, he would get four times three fifty rupees, which was enough for his coaching fees. So what do we see? The amount he gets from tuition is rupees three fifty multiplied by number of tuitions. Let us express the unknown quantity that is number of tuitions by a literal number x. The number of tuitions may vary, so x is a variable here. Thus, amount earned by Aman would be three fifty multiplied by x. So we used a variable x to represent the number of tuitions, which could take any value, say one, two, three, etc. You know, instead of x, any other letter can also be used as variable, like a, b, l, m, n, y, z, etc. Apart from variables. There are quantities with fixed numerical values, say seven, three, ten, etc. These are called constants, as their value doesn't change. So, to sum up what we learned today, what is a constant? Quantities with fixed numerical values are called constants. For example, four, eight. Ten, etc. And what is a literal number? When letters are used to represent numbers, we call them literal numbers. For example, x plus six is equal to nine. Here, x is a literal number. What are variables? Quantities whose values vary and are not fixed are called variables. The literal numbers are generally referred to as variables. For example, three plus y is equal to ten. Here, y is a variable. So that was all about variables. Bye, bye, children.